This is one hell of a tiny but powerful, compact, and just generally amazing motherboard. This is the ASUS ROG Maximus 8 Impact. This is an ITX board, and it's amazing. <laughs> Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So as I said, this is the Maximus 8 Impact. It's an incredibly featured board, and you actually get a lot in the box as well. You get, obviously, a lot of stickers, as well as the IO Shield, a lot of SATA cables, in fact, I believe more than you need. Um, also, a temp sensor and a fan extender board, which we'll take a look at later, but it's really cool. Um, you also get a CPU installation tool, a couple of screws, um, and the sort of guide and driver disc and all that sort of stuff. Now, the chipset you think itself looks really cool, um, but is quite small as you can probably expect by the fact that this is an ITX board and uh, yeah it's just I, I will go so far to say as it's the single most ITX board or single most single most packed ITX board ever it's just it's incredible um, you get a effectively a sound card built in this is the Supreme Effects impact audio as well as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and a U.2 connector um, to be able to connect something like a, a NVMe SSD which is incredible now the placing for that isn't the best, but it's kind of the only place you could put it on the board really. Now you do also get the Keybot 2 feature, which is the RG uh, sort of stickered chip, um, which allows you to do some cool things with your keyboard, including turn the PC on. You also get four SATA 6 gigabit ports, two DDR4, two DDR4 DIMMs, USB uh, 3 and 2 front panel headers, as well as two fan, uh, you know, four pin fan headers, and the 8 pin on the right hand side, and where the 8 pin would normally be is where the CPU fan header is and the extended fan header is. Um, you can also see a lot of kind of rear mount components or rear surface mount components which is kind of to be expected with something this jam-packed. Now the sound card or the, the sound uh, I guess bit can be removed but it does jut out quite a lot and so does the extra VRMs. Those allow you to overclock on this board. Yes, overclock. You can genuinely and entirely and very well overclock on this ITX motherboard. It's just, it's fantastic for, and I guess just mind-boggling for how fantastic and just insane uh, that is. Now the rear IO is also pretty comprehensive with USB Type-C, that's 3.1 and uh, 3.1A, as well as Gigabit Ethernet, some nice audio, which by the way lights up when you plug it in. Also you get this little impact control board for, again, overclocking, so you can, uh, you know, uh, power on, reset, you see the debug LEDs, as well as your know, CMOS and that sort of thing, uh, BIOS clear. You also get HDMI if you want some onboard uh, video, and as I said, Wi Fi and Bluetooth uh, are on board, as well as USB. Now, this, as I said, is an incredibly packed board, and uh, even things like this, there's just really nice features that come with the box uh, in the box. So, it's powered by a Molex connector as well as this sort of data cable. You can add up to, I believe, four temp sensors and four fans, um, all of which are four pin, which is really, really nice. Um, so, that's really cool. I did have a bit of trouble with compatibility building in this, um, just with the Cooler Master Neptune 120XL. Um, but, uh, yeah. Building in it is actually not as bad as I thought it'd be. It's uh, fairly nice and just generally it looks pretty cool too. So here's my thoughts. So I don't think I can go much more without saying this thing is incredibly feature packed. I mean, it's insane how much stuff is on this ITX board. The fact that you have basically a dedicated sound card that you can actually remove if you want to um, is incredible. And that extra VRM board, so if you want to overclock on this, you can, um, is just insane. Now bear in mind there may be some compatibility issues with heat sinks um, and that sort of stuff because of the just general tight and compact nature of this board. Um, I did have a bit of trouble with the Coolmaster Neptune 120XL and I had to rotate it and even then it was still quite tight. I couldn't actually get the radiator on the back of the case, I had to go up the top. Um, so it is a very kind of tight build that you'll end up doing, but it's incredibly powerful. I mean, throw something like an AMD R9 Nano in here um, and you've got the most compact but just amazing, you know, balls to the walls uh, uh, system that you can imagine. It's incredible. Um, now, in terms of sort of pros and cons, obviously it's incredibly feature packed. I mean, that U.2 connector uh, on the rear IO, bit of a strange place to put it, but amazing the fact that you can connect an NVMe SSD to this. Is, that's insane. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously the, the main issue is going to be compatibility and just being able to fit things in and around the board. Um, but that's pretty much the only real issue I've seen. I actually really like the BIOS, especially for overclocking 
quite nice and just general usage is really nice as well um, and the look of the board is fantastic too um, so you know I have no complaints there and the Rario is fantastic with USB type C as well as that U.2 connector and all that sort of stuff um, but uh, yeah, in terms of cons, I said that's that's pretty much it. It's just uh, you know compatibility. Um, now in terms of scoring, it's going to get a four for value for money because it's not the most you know value for money board on the planet, but you do get a lot of money for your real estate and uh, you do get a lot of features for your real estate and just generally a lot for your money. Um, you also, uh, it's going to get a 5 for performance because most motherboards are the same nowadays. Functionality is going to be a 5 because Jesus this thing is packed um, and is just amazing. Um, in terms of style, it's also going to get a 5 because even though those riser cards are there they do look definitely very stylish and it's going to have to get a 5 for Tekken BB score because it is a fantastic little motherboard and it's probably going to get the top tier award as well. Um, it's really a fantastic little board, it's amazingly small but with so much built into it and so much built, uh, built onto it um, and you do get some fantastic connectivity, even that fan board is fantastic as well, the fact that you can plug in um, a little sort of board and hide it away somewhere and connect, you know, like six more, five or six more fans, that's fantastic and temperature sensors, um, it's just brilliant, so um, yeah, it definitely deserves that award, so I think that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, like or dislike, depending on what you thought. And let me know what you thought in the comments down below too. Check out some of their videos. If you want to buy this board, a system with this board in it, uh, this, yeah, a system with this board in it, or just any other tech in the UK, or you fancy paying for shipping, check out YoYo Tech over here or down in the description down below. There's a link to them, um, as they're just awesome and, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, also, check out, uh, you know, all of our social stuff is over there um, and as uh, I always say please subscribe it does help us out and means that people like Asus want to send us more stuff so that's pretty cool too so as I said thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you all in the next one